Hello my dear students, myself, Ms. Poonam Singh Rai and today I'll begin with the subject Maths of Standard 2. The name of the book is Joyful Learning. I love Maths Standard 2. The first chapter which I'm going to begin is Numbers. Now, as you know that we have 10 digits from 0 to 9. These 10 digits are 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9. These digits help us to form numbers like 2 digit numbers 4, 5, 45. 2 digits again 3, 6, 36. Here we have 3 digits number 3, 7, 6, 376, 487, 487. Now these three digits numbers are written under hundreds where H stands for hundreds, tens, T stands for tens and O stands for ones. Here we take a number 250 where 2 will come under hundreds place, 5 will come in tens place and 0 will come in ones place. Now, what you have to do is to learn the numbers from 1 to 1000. The numbers from 1 to 1000 and the number names from 1 to 1000, which is very, very important. See, Mark here. You have to by heart numbers from 1 to 1000 and number names from 1 to 1000. Then we have another topic, expanded form and the sort form of numbers. The sum of, now what is the difference between expanded form and the short form? Expanded form, the sum of place values of digits in hundreds, tens and ones places is called expanded form. For example, you can see here, 344. 344, this 3 hundreds plus 4 tens because after this we have only one digit. So this 4 tens and this 4 because it is in ones place, 4 ones. Because 3 is in hundreds place, 3 hundreds, 4 in tens place, 4 tens and 4 in ones place. So it becomes, so 4 ones is equal to this 300 plus 40 plus 4 will be equal to 344. Now let us come to the short form of numbers. Now what is short form? When the face value of the expanded numbers are combined, we get short form. You can understand from this example. 300, 300, 100 plus 40 plus 4. This 300 would come in hundreds place, 40, tens place and Four in ones place. So we'll get 344, four, that is 344. Now our next topic is before, after, and between. Here you can see that 235 is between. This number 235 is between 234 and 236. So this 235 is in between these two numbers then this 231 is before 232 or 231 is the predecessor of 232 that means to find the predecessor now how will you find the predecessor we will subtract one from a number here like 232 minus 1 we will get 231. So this 231 is the predecessor. Then comes 239 which is after 238 or 239 is the successor of 238. That means 239 is the successor of 238. So here what we are doing? We are adding plus 1 to a number that is 238. So here 238 plus 1 will be equal to 239. And this between we have done already 234 and 236. 
231 to 235 is in between. Now our next topic is place value and face value. Place value. What is the difference between place value and the face value? The place value of a digit depends on the position of the digit in a number. The place value of a digit depends on the position of the digit in a number. Example, 231, 231. Here, the place value of this number, 231, this 2 will come in hundreds place. Here, 2, zero, two double zero, 200. Then 3 will come under tens place. That is why it will become 30 and this 0 will come under 1's place and this remains the same 0. And the face value of a digit is its actual value. That means the number itself. See 231, 231 here the face value of 2 will be 2 only. This will not change. As here we can see that it has changed to 200. Here it remains the same 2. 3 remains the same 3. And 1 is 1. It does not change. Then we have. Now move on to the next topic. Comparing numbers. We have 3 signs to compare numbers. Greater than or more than, smaller than this sign, smaller than or less than this sign, equal to. Now, in order to compare the digits in the hundreds place, at first when we are comparing uh, greater than or less than or equal to, what we have to do, we have to first compare the digits in the hundreds place. For example, 895, here two numbers are given. 895, 783. So here you have to see which is bigger, which is greater. 8 or 7. So as you know that 8 is bigger. So 895 is greater than 783 since 8 is greater than 7 so it becomes 895 is greater than 783 next if the digits in the hundreds place are the same for example see here 895 883 that means this 8 hundreds this 8 hundreds both are same then how to find out how to compare then you will see tens so here 8, 9, 5. So we, will see, we see here 9, here 8. So which number is greater? 9. So this 895 will, 895 is greater than 883. Next, if the digits in the hundreds and tens places are the same, for example here 8, 9, 8, 9. Then, we will compare the digits in the ones place. Here, this 5 will come under ones place and this 3 in ones place. So, we will compare which is greater, 5 or 3. Obviously, 5 is greater. So, this 895 will be greater than 893. Our next topic is ascending and descending order. Ascending and descending order of numbers. See, remember a stair. When you go up, suppose you are going up. So, this is ascending order. When you are going down is descending order. Here, from 11 to 12, 12 to 13, 14, 13 to 14, 14 to 15, 15 to 16, 17, 18. From 11 to that means the smallest value. 11 is our smallest value. Here, 18 is the biggest value. So, from 11, the smallest value to the biggest value. Down to up. Ascending order. 
Again, we have the descending order. That means from 18 to 11. That means we are going down. 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11. Biggest value. Which is our biggest value? Here, 18. So, the biggest value to the smallest value. Here, 11 is our smallest value. To make you understand, ascending order is when the numbers are arranged from smallest value to largest value. For example, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. And descending value, descending order is when the numbers are arranged from the largest value to smallest value. 18 is the largest value. So, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11. So, while doing ascending so while doing ascending order and descending order always remember the stair going up is the ascending order coming down is the descending order this will help you to remember ascending order and descending order so my dear students please Study sincerely. Utilize this time. You are at home. Don't waste your time in all unnecessary work. You just concentrate in your studies. Utilize your time to do all your work. Complete all the sums in textbook as well as in the workbook. Please learn the numbers. Don't forget numbers from 1 to 1000 and number names, ONE1, TW2, spellings.